Alright guys, it's Nacho. I am here at Advanced Armor Technology that is right around the corner from my house. I kept driving past and I got curious and I had to stop in and I was not expecting the amount of stuff they had or the level of quality. So I'm here with Chad and we're going to show you some of the gear they got here. One of the things that I'm most interested in, because you guys know I hate my plate carrier, is the plate carriers they have here. You want to tell them the details on this? Well, first off, it's extremely comfortable, extremely lightweight. It's designed with two entrances rather than one, so you have two pull straps left and right to pull the cummerbund open. It does. I didn't even notice these handles on there. Correct. Like Grab handles to pull with. Uh, we use soft armor and side plates. Hard armor does nothing but gouge you and jam you, and most of the time you take them out, throw them away. We run with the soft plates in there so it'll actually mold and contour to you. Right. Um, on the inside, you can either load it with uh, level 3 or our 3A soft hard combo, which is equivalent, but a little bit lighter. To get these open, you have to come in the bottom and work them. There's this pole strap on it. This actual Velcro is up on top, Velcroed in. You have a secondary layer of Velcro at the entrance. And then once you get inside, you have room for two pockets where you can load up your plates. This one's set up with our level three soft and our three plus on the hard. This plate is only about a pound. If you guys have seen me in my vest, I've got still still panels in mine that are like a minimum of eight pounds a piece. I wish you guys were here because this is just ridiculously lightweight. This is lightweight and even this is probably lighter weight than my steel plates. This is a level three. It's roughly 2.5 to 3 pounds. Oh, Your steel plates mind. are probably 15 plus. They're each. they're heavy. And this will stop anything you need to. Oh, you got to show them the, the 50 cal. Go ahead and grab it. Oh my gosh. This is our NIJ testing of one of our plates that we come out with. But it's a multi-hit with a 50 caliber. 50 cal round. Let me see if I can. The bullets are still in there. The shells are still in there. That is crazy. You can see that there's minimal bulging on that. I mean, obviously you don't want to get hit by that, but it's going to stop it from blowing you in half. But three rounds of 50 cal. I don't know if you got, you guys, the lighting can get it. <laughs> but that's crazy to me. Now the idea about the two, two entrances to this is you can set it up, get it where it's comfortable, leave one side locked out. When you get ready to go, get into something, you can get out, throw it in, enter from one side, close it, bring it down underneath, and you're in. It's that quick. Get in and out, reach under, pull the tab, pull it open, you're out. Now on the sides, we actually have a strap coming across, quick clip on it. The purpose of the strap is so if you're on a scene or doing something where you're going to have it on long term, you can open up both sides of it, let it breathe, let the air get in, and still have your plates in control where they need to be. So when everything gets hot and heavy, slap it closed again, you're on the road. Super cool. We do have Mully all the way down the front of it and on the sides. We have your Velcro on top for any of your patches. It also has Mully under the Velcro. We have your pockets in the front for mags, radios, whatever you need to do on both of the entrances. The top straps, extremely well padded, adjustable. You can adjust them up. The guy twice my size will work. Nice. Grab handle on the back so we can drag you out when you get in trouble. So they do stock the black ones. If you want a different color, what's the wait time on that? About 30 days? About that. And I have put in my order for a tan one, so I'm excited about that. Now for daily wear, we do make what we call a concealable. This is a concealable vest. As you can tell by how soft and moldy it is, this has plates in it. This will stop everything up to a 500 Smith & Wesson. And the fabric that's inside is crosswoven polyethylene. Extremely pliable. It's one of the things I hate about my work vest is when I sit down, instantly it just digs me right here. If I mm -hmm. crunch over, yeah, it sucks. We, si we size them to you. So that way you don't have that problem. The carriers can be purchased separately. They unzip, plate pops out, you pull the carrier in a wash, clean it, not a problem. The fabric is a fabric that we get from NASA. 
and it actually controls body heat. So it's not only I've got one of those off. under vests, the mesh ones, mm -hmm. and for the price, I wasn't super impressed with what I got. Correct. I'm not going to throw out a company name because they gave me a deal on it, but wasn't impressed for the price. So, but yeah, kind of the same concept, but this is built in and doesn't shift around on you. No. I usually have a piece of the fabric here. If you take the fabric and you touch it on both sides, yeah, he you showed can me actually, last time and it feels you blow the heat out. You can yeah. feel it moving through. So these are our concealable, extremely comfortable. Uh, if you compare us to some of our competitors, we'll name them. But <laughs> compared to some of our competitors, we're about half a third of the cost. That's so crazy. And again, That's if I haven't stated that everything that we make is NIJ certified, the lowest we do is level 3A. We right. do not do level 2, and the reason why is when level 2 was sanctioned by NIJ, it would stop 9 millimeters. Today's foot pound force coming out of today's ammo on a 9 millimeters ammo will has, punch clean through. Ammo has changed drastically in the last few years. So on level 2 armor, we just call it feel good armor. You feel good, you have it on, it ain't going to do a damn thing. Peace of mind that doesn't really do anything for you. And then for all the business oh, guys. This is cool. This is what we call our attache case and or our teacher pack. Um, we came up with this design because a lot of people want to have body armor, but they do not want to have it. They don't want to wear it. <laughs> yeah, and they don't want it to be in, in your face. I'm wearing body armor, come get me. So we came up with this computer bag. It holds a Surface, it holds iPads. All my stuff fits in it quite well. And it's set up where you have a silver tab on one, nothing on the other. This will be your front. When you grab it, pull, 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 all the way open. Your silver tab's your front. Comes right up, this is not adjusted for me. <laughs> and then you got two clips on the side with side belts, come around, you lock in. That's your side, lock in the other side. Again, this is not adjusted for me. Batman and a little coat and this here. This has got the Velcro so you could put any kind of, you know, if you're an officer. Staff, employee, yeah. student, anything So when you want. first responders show up, see you, you're easily identifiable. The other thing we did is on the back, if you notice the green, we made that for our teachers. So if in a school situation, we can identify a teacher real quick. Um, you have a pouch here, and you want in the pouch, these are mullied. Same on the back. The idea behind it, this is one that we geared up. You have your tourniquet. I usually have a CPR mask here. Mike hates it. Um, <laughs> flashlight, knife, scissors. This is a holster for your firearm. You have it all with you, so everything is right on your chest. Basically, the design scenario is everything on the back is what somebody would need to do to treat you. So this is all the personal stuff they would use on you. This is everything you would use getting out of whatever right. situation you're in. Because if it's on your back, you're not going to be able to grab it. Somebody else is going to use it on you, so. Correct. So that's the uh, attache case and or t-shirt pack. Those are cool. And again, tips right back up. Oh, the other feature we have, if you're in a situation where there's multiples of you, on the adjustments of the shoulders, you can come in. Separated oh, out. Two front plates. You got two front plates to run with. Nice. You hand it to somebody else, so you're both somewhat protected. Right. Nice. Again, level 3A body sure. armor in here will stop up to a 500 Smith and Wesson 44 mag without a problem. Nice. Uh, if you grab that white one over there, the one on the left. Yep. This is a level 3A plate, same as exactly as in here. We hit this one. 10 feet less with a 44 Magnum wow. and a 500 Smith and Wesson. Jeez. Now our plates are several layers, hundreds of layers going through of the cross woven polyethylene. When you open it up, we went through about three layers. There's the 500 Smith and Wesson. Three Somebody layers. picked out the 44. <laughs> Somebody lost it. Correct. But what's unique is it's stuck. If you notice our armor is designed so that it will capture a bullet. You don't get fragmentation you don't get coming off, yeah. spalling, none of that. It holds it in. Nice. As you can tell here, here's a fragment. And on the steel ones, you'll notice that they use like a bed liner to try and stop that. I'm not sure how effective that is, but <laughs> yeah, I figured it didn't do too much. So, but as you can tell, the thickness of the plate, 500 Smith and Wesson went through that much. That's so crazy. 
So you feel good wearing our armor and trust it. Another thing that I'm super stoked that they have that is on my shopping list. Definitely, definitely getting one. Details? Level 3A, uh, difference between us and everybody else is we're lighter. Comes with all the hardware on it. A lot of companies will come in and they will sell you the hardware Nick after the fact. All the other. Exactly. Everything's there, including your Velcro to put it on and your bungees. We don't nice. skimp on giving you everything. You Sizes see. are adjustable. We go from a large to a double X. Yeah. Um, nice. One thing we did find it out, it took us a little while to figure out. Hate to admit that. There's two screws on the inside. Mm -hmm. And for a fat cranium like me, this one is actually uh, extra large. Yeah, you know, fat man, little coating it. <laughs> Can you hand me that black one on the bottom? This one? No, nope, that one. This one's the exact same size. We found with those two screws on the inside, if you loosen them up and adjust it, somebody's Very played with good. it a little, but it goes on and it's actually comfortable. Okay. So they, you can slide the carriage down, make it fit, make it work. You can see that a little bit in here. Mm -hmm. Room for adjustment. Exactly. Got the little ratchet adjuster on the back. So once you get it adjusted to where it's at, then you can tighten her down and get her snugged on. Right. It doesn't move. Nice. And we can get these in black, tan, and the OD green. I think I'm opting for the OD. I was torn between the tan and the OD, but... The black is I'm in a, stock. And I'm a sucker for stock. OD. So I think I'll probably... Um, lastly, for the departments, we do shields. Oh. Go ahead and grab that one on the right there. Oh. <laughs> we'll grab them both. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to lean it too hard on this glass, though. Okay, most people think of shields. This is the common one they, they see. Um, you're worried about rifle plates. You're worried about uh, hard stuff coming at you. This plate is roughly about 65 pounds. And you're looking at about an inch thick. I think it didn't flip, there we go. This one is heavy, so yeah. Ugh. Throughout the day is your... That's why you see the dude in the front only has a pistol, uh -huh. because you can't use a rifle with one of these. This is heavy. It is gonna wear you out. Oh, it's goodness. It's gonna make you tired, it's gonna make you sore. So we came out with this one. This is our uh, advanced armor plate, or shield. Huge difference, you guys can tell that I can actually hold it out. It's 12.5 pounds. Crazy. It will stop up to a 308 without a problem. Nice. And you can run with it, you can articulate with it. We put a strap on the back so that um, if you need to, you can hook it onto your belt, hang it on your belt. Still have it in front of you, providing protection if you go cross, cross, cross right on it. And on the back, if you notice, we also have our handles so that you can link through on a diagonal, which is very ergonomic to move your arm through there. Right with. Because it'll hang at your side in a place oh, where yeah. it's comfortable. It just, that just hangs in the right spot. Exactly. Again, baton, um, taser, firearm, you're free to move. Now, the idea and the purpose of these is to go into the counter of the event and not have to uh, take a life. We've designed them for the law enforcement to be able to go in and rush somebody, plow them to the ground, take the knife away or whatever weapon he has, rather than taking the alter method, method of just going lethal from the beginning. So sweet. And we've heard several of the incidences where that's happened lately. Oh, yeah. All right. Anything else you want to cover? Uh, it's pretty good. Um, if you look around the shop real quick, we have a plethora of plates. We start off level 3A. We go all the way up to uh, level 4. We try not to sell level 4 because it's ceramic and it's a one and done. One uh, and once it's one. hit, it's <laughs> So not to mention the weight of it. We do make it, but we don't like selling it. We like selling our level 3, which is multiple hit. And um, we'll stop just about everything at the level 4 wheel without a problem. Everybody wants respirators right now. <laughs> um, the respirators we do have. We have actual paper ones coming in first week of May. Well, they're kind of hard to find. Yes, those the ones on the wall are half mass. They are N95 um, the good approved. Stuff. They are the good stuff. Um, I'll let you know right now. I'm not good on pricing, but for those, we're at uh, 48 for the non-silicone, 54 for the silicone, and we have about 50 left in stock. So give them the address. 
2067 North, 400 East. And I'll put that down below. If you guys forget it, you can come back and look at it. Easiest way is look for the big dragon on the outside of the windows. You'll see it. Um, whole idea behind it is to stay alive, stay prepared, and take care of what you need. If you guys are familiar with the area, you know where Kirk's driving is. It is just a little bit north on the west side. So you guys have regular hours? Uh, you, right now, because of the food bank, I'm going to put a plug in for that while I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, we did some footage of that. You can definitely throw exactly. that plug in. Exactly. Uh, we opened up what we call the Tri-City Exchange out back. It's the 7,000 square foot building behind us. As long as that's open, we will be here from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. So if for some reason the building's locked up and you need armor, they're still here. Slide on back and see us at the food bank because its hours are longer than ours. So they said that if you guys bring in a substantial amount of donations for that, they'll give you a 20% discount on stuff here. So guys, take advantage of that. Bring truckloads because they need help. So yeah, awesome. So these guys have had a lot of donations from the big food stores loaded up in the truck, unload it. They've had some trucking companies donate the use of some refrigerated trailers so they can keep the milk and stuff like that in there. And then they've got this warehouse down here with all the dry goods. Yeah, so if you guys are in a position to drop anything off, if you've got anything extra in your pantry, uh, they don't care what it is as long as it's still edible or usable bring it down and he has offered to give you 20% off of whatever you buy from their tactical gear uh, and I know you guys are charitable people all you people that watch my channel are good solid people so bring some stuff down I'm gonna leave the address down in the description below uh, I'm going to link to the website. Um, hopefully by the time you guys watch this, I have a list of prices for various products because they're not on the website. But if you guys need something specific, hit me up and I'll email them. But yeah. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling.